Three months into his radical sabbatical, Marvin's journey to success as a music exec hasn't really gone according to his master plan, but Marvin's still determined. Things aren't as easy as I thought they'd be, but um, I'm working on it. After countless interviews and sending out dozens of resumes, Marvin still hasn't found a job in the music industry, and he still has to pay rent. Whatever it takes, you know, as many resumes as I have to send out, as many calls as I have to make, you know, it's fine. It's, it's, it's okay with me. I'll, it's about the end result, you know, getting the job. And once I do that, I'll be happy. I'm still confident that I'll be able to find a job, the job that I want, and uh, that I'll be making my own music soon. Marvin continues to network and speak to as many people as he can in the hopes of landing a job. What he gets is a sobering perspective from music producer Kwame Holland, someone who's had more than his fair share of experience in the record business. This is probably the only industry where the rules change per day. It's just a constant, constant beating on the door, constant grinding, constant grinding, yeah. and sooner or later it breaks. Yeah, I've been in the industry for 15 years, and I found that people that were starting off fresh had more of a shot. And the funny thing is once you get on, mm -hmm. the harder thing is to stay on instead of trying to get in the door. As Marvin listens to Kwame, he realizes more than ever that he needs to find that music industry job so that he can learn how this industry works. It's kind of like a, a catch-22. I can't get the experience because I can't get a job. All you can do is just go and meet as many people as you can and you know, take interviews and meetings where you can and just hope for the best. But just as Marvin was about to give up hope, he got the call he'd been waiting for, a job offer from one of the top agencies in the world, working in their music department. I've gotten a job uh, working in the industry, so uh, it's, things have been going really well. I've been learning. Um, it's not exactly where I want to be, but it's, uh, it's definitely a stepping stone towards that, so I'm, I'm happy. It's so important for me to do something in the music business because it's, uh, it's just been my goal. I've kind of had tunnel vision about it for so long that I can't imagine doing anything else. Marvin's new job is a great opportunity to learn about the music business from the inside out. Hey, I'm in a meeting. I got to call you back. Marvin Neal would be an unhappy person <laughs> if I hadn't taken the step. Uh, just was right. It felt like, you know, felt like what I needed to do. Even though Marvin may not be P. Diddy or Russell Simmons yet, he still views his radical sabbatical as a success. Like Learned a lot so far about different parts of the music industry. Now that Marvin is officially a music industry insider, his plan is to learn the ins and outs of the business in order to achieve long-term success. My goals haven't changed. I understand now that there's a lot I need to learn before I can actually make that happen. So I'm going to keep learning, and, and hopefully I'll be able to apply this to my dream one day. It's a lot more difficult than I initially thought it would be. Even though the job isn't quite as glamorous as you may have hoped, he's going to be getting a valuable education about the business end of the music industry. I work in the music department in the business affairs office. So all contracts come through us and actually pass over my desk. I amend contracts. I look at them, make sure that they're worded correctly. But in the end, it's all about the music for Marvin. What makes me happy is music. Almost the pursuit of the dream. You know, I mean, it's, it's kind of scary sometimes thinking that it might not be all that I think it is when I do get there. Looking back, the only thing Marvin would have done differently would have been to make this life change sooner. I would say the biggest thing I've learned, the single biggest, is to kind of just have faith in yourself and the, and the decisions that you make. I second-guessed leaving my job for so long. Once I finally just buckled down and made the decision that I wouldn't be happy until I got where I wanted to be, I, I think it's, it's just made me a happier person.